as a parun kumar today we will revise value of one inverse function in terms of another inverse function having abc a uh, right angle triangle at b and theta is the angle let us suppose that sin theta equals to x by 1 so let us write here x 1 so with the help of pythagoras theorem it becomes 1 minus x square then cosine theta becomes 1 by x cos theta becomes root over 1 minus x square by 1 secant theta becomes 1 by root over 1 minus x square tan theta equals to x by root over 1 minus x square and cos theta equals to root over 1 minus x square by x. Now, we can from this, we can have theta equals to, we can get theta equals to sin inverse x by 1. In the similar pattern, we can write all this formation. So, we have various trigonometrical functions. So, here we get theta equals to sin inverse x by 1. Here cosecant theta equals to 1 by x. That means what? Theta equals to cosecant inverse 1 by x. Cos theta equals to root over 1 minus x square. Means theta equals to cos inverse root over 1 minus x square. So in terms of secant theta, tan theta and cot theta. Finally, we have on the right hand side, theta equals to this, theta equals to this, theta equals to this. So, from this, what we can get conclude is that sin inverse x by 1 is equals to cos inverse x 1 by x is equals to cos inverse root over 1 minus x square is equals to secant inverse 1 by this is equals to this and this equals to this. In this way we can have the value of one inverse function in terms of another inverse function. Like this many more formulas are going to come in my next shot. Thank you.